Finally, the legendary three-pointed star of the automotive world appears at the front of a modern hypercar. After nearly three years of delays, the Mercedes-AMG 1 Formula 1 streetcar is finally ready. So what has Mercedes unveiled for its fans? Is it a sports car category or a muscle car? Will it be available for purchase by civilians? Let's find out. After nearly three years of delays, the Mercedes-AMG 1 Formula 1 streetcar is finally ready. It produces 1,063 horsepower and costs 2.75 million euros plus taxes. Mercedes CEO Ola Kalinius was genuine when he said, I think we were drunk when we approved this project. The Mercedes AMG 1 was supposed to hit the market in autumn 2019, but adopting the F1 engine to increasingly stringent emissions regulations and the idle speed of a civilian engine raised some seemingly insurmountable obstacles. The deposit for the 2.75 million euro plus taxes supercar was paid by 275 customers. Customers included real estate mogul Manny Koshbin, Formula 1 drivers David Coulthard and Nico Rosberg, actor Mark Wahlberg and former tennis player Ion Iriak, who wanted to purchase two pieces. The new Mercedes AMG 1 raises the bar for sports car by bringing Formula 1 technology to the streets. On 1st June 2022, this long-awaited vehicle was unveiled complete with an e-performance Formula 1-inspired hybrid engine, futuristic controls, and a distinct set of design features both inside and out. The Mercedes-AMG 1's body is low and wide, with an aggressive front end and accentuated wheel arches. The model has both fixed and active aerodynamic features that can be changed by pressing a button. Air intakes, fins, a sharp spoiler, and a two-piece retractable blade rear wing with an adjustable flap deploy in three distinct aerodynamic configurations – highway, track, and race DRS. The butterfly-style doors open diagonally up and to the front. The Mercedes-AMG 1 has a performance hybrid drivetrain that combines a 1.6-liter V6 hybrid petrol engine with assisted single turbocharging and four electric motors. One is integrated into the turbocharger, another on the combustion engine with a link to the crankcase, and the two remaining motors drive the front wheels. Mercedes-Benz explains. The Mercedes-AMG 1 has a total output of 1,063 horsepower thanks to this one-of-a-kind set of hardware. While the maximum system output is 1,063 horsepower, the maximum combustion engine output is 574 horsepower in order for the vehicle to be street legal. The Mercedes AMG 1 has a top speed of around 219 miles per hour and a sprint time of 7 seconds from 0 to 124.7 miles per hour. The Mercedes AMG 1, according to the company, is a world first with only Formula 1 engine that has ever been approved for use on public roads. The Mercedes AMG 1's battery cell packs have 768 cells and deliver a combined 800 volt with a peak power output of 400 kilowatts. That's equivalent to four F1 batteries combined. Each wheel in the front has its own motor generator unit that can reach speeds of nearly 50,000 RPM. The Mercedes AMG 1 is equipped with 4MATIC Plus, which is a variable all-wheel drive system. The hybrid gas engine powers the rear axle, while the front axle is entirely powered by electricity. The sports car can also drive completely electric, according to Mercedes. The key to its high performance is the battery cooling, which circulates coolant around all of the battery cells to cool each of the cells individually. The active and fixed aerodynamic features increase air intake, which helps to keep system temperatures low. The interior of the Mercedes-AMG 1 is also F1-inspired, with additional features that make this vehicle street legal. There's a genuine F1 steering wheel with a flat top and bottom and an array of controls and readings available to the driver, just like a track-ready F1 steering wheel, as well as a pair of high-resolution 10-inch displays in the instrument panel. The center console has a multimedia display facing the driver, and the driver can choose from six drive modes – Race Safe, Race, EV, Race Plus, Start to or individual, each with user customized preferences. The interior is accessed through doors that rise diagonally forward. The charging socket is on the left and the fuel nozzle is on the right. Carbon fiber can be seen everywhere. The backrests on the AMG Motorsports seat can be adjusted to 25 degrees or 30 degrees. The steering wheel is electrically adjustable and the pedals can be adjusted in 11 different ways. The footrest can also be adjusted. The center tunnel is simple, with only a start-stop button in the front. There are two mini USB ports as well. The driver has two 10-inch displays, one for the instrument cluster and one for the driver-oriented multimedia system. The steering wheel is F1-inspired, with an LED bar at the top for the rev limiter and the DRS button on the top left. 
The technology is impressive and closely resembles that of F1. The Mercedes-AMG One, like many other racing-inspired supercars, is said to have a minimalist, no-styling design approach. Every component in this vehicle's interior serves an important purpose. That's not to say the vehicle is as uncompromising as a track-ready racer, because it's designed for street driving. Mercedes makes no mention of engine maintenance or whether the engine must be rebuilt after 50,000 kilometers, as previously reported. Mercedes appears to have solved the emissions problem by not starting the engine until the catalytic converters reach the desired temperature. The electric range is only 18.1 km, but the PHEV system ensures a low consumption of 8.7 km per 100 on paper, according to WLTP rules. The question is whether the Mercedes AMG One will outperform the Mercedes 300 SLR Ullenaut Coupe, which sold for 135 million euros a few days ago. We believe not because the number of examples is greater, 275 versus only 2 for the 300 SLR. And it is difficult to believe that this sophisticated high revving engine will be as reliable as the 300 SLR's inline 8-cylinder engine. The Mercedes AMG One, unlike most Formula One race cars, has air conditioning, electric windows and airbag support. The aforementioned displays provide access to a full infotainment system, and a display link to a rear-facing mirror cam takes the place of a rear-view mirror. The Mercedes-AMG One is poised to be an incredible and impressive car in any crowd, with six driving modes, including an all-electric mode, optional magnesium wheels with optional carbon covers for aerodynamics, Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires, and carbon ceramic brakes. In fact, the Mercedes-AMG One's active aero system includes a drag reduction system, just like the Formula One car, from which it drew knowledge and inspiration. The Mercedes-AMG One is a no-nonsense, racing-ready hypercar with F1 ethos. But it isn't entirely austere. There are shifting lights mounted on the steering wheel, but there are also Nappa leather surfaces and a cutting-edge infotainment system, as well as electric windows and air conditioning, making the Mercedes-AMG One a car that is equally at home on the track as it is on the streets. The new Mercedes-AMG One epitomizes the definition of a hypercar with unprecedented luxury, performance, and style. The Mercedes-AMG One price has not been announced, but it is expected to be more than $2 million. The public will see this vehicle for the first time in action in the United Kingdom at the Festival of Speed at Goodwood in late June 2022. Still watching? We knew you'd love our video. Well, we'd be even happier if you could just hit that like button. Coming back to the scenario, what do we think about this car? Well, Mercedes-Benz has demonstrated its racing and motorsport prowess for decades thanks to its incredible racing teams and AMG Performance House, which dominates roads and tracks all over the world. After 55 years of AMG, which was founded in 1967, the time has come for Mercedes-AMG to enter the hypercar ring. It's a fiercely competitive space where brands showcase the absolute best they have to offer on four wheels in terms of luxury, performance, technology, and cutting-edge engineering and innovation. And thankfully, Mercedes Racing AMG's experience has a lot to offer the new Mercedes AMG One. We'd like to have your opinion about this. Are you excited to see this beast perform in the hypercar ring? Let us know in the comments. Having said that, we have reached the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If yes, don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up. And it's high time for you to subscribe to the channel and turn the notification bell on to get all the updates on our works. See you soon. Until then, peace.